Now the big one, the Irish 2000 Guineas and Cockney Rebel, the hot favourite to follow up his new market success. Rin looks set for the Boyle Sports Irish 2000 Guineas. And they're up. And in the early stages, Trinity College popped away smartly, follow my footsteps right up. Tacking over from the outside is Vital Equine. And on settling down now, it's Trinity College, Vital Equine, with follow my footsteps. Cockney Rebel running freely in between horses. Then comes Crackador, and towards the inside is Traffic Guard. As they race on now towards the elbow, it's Vital Equine on the outside for Chris Catlin, who joins this year with Trinity College and David McKay. These two racing on from Cockney Rebel in third. Duke of Marmalade is just on the inside of Confucius and Crackador. They're followed by Traffic Guard. With just in behind them comes Fernley. Follow my footsteps, Fleeting Shadow, Kingsdale, Orion, and he's a decoy. But it's Vital Equine on the near side who's just shading it now from Trinity College. Just over two lengths to Cockney Rebel. Duke of Marmalade being ridden along just in behind them. Crackador trying to improve ahead of Fernley. And it's Vital Equine now who leads from Cockney Rebel. Duke of Marmalade towards the inside, then Crackador racing now towards the two mark. And Vital Equine now from Cockney Rebel, the near side, Duke of Marmalade up the inside and Crackador getting to them on the outside. Not much between the quartet as they race to the furlong pole. It's Cockney Rebel and Olivier Pellier. Crackador, Kevin Manning, the near side. Duke of Marmalade staying on for Shamey Heppernan. But it is Cockney Rebel as they race up towards the finish. Cockney Rebel is going to complete the Guineas double for Jeff Hepper and Olivier Pellier. Second home, Crackador finishing very fast. He's a decoy. We win that. Cockney Rebel, a 6-4 to four favourite, beat Crackador, who ran really well in second at 7-1, to one, and he's a decoy third at 40.